All right, we're here at the 2023 Annual League Meetings. I'm John Osier here with Jaguars owner Shad Khan. And Shad, we've uh, done this a lot over the years. But I've got to think this meeting, this offseason, you know, I've got to think it's the best one for you and, and, and maybe the one you're enjoying the most. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> it's really, really awesome to, uh, you know, uh, to have had the success we've had. Uh, last season and more importantly I think the anticipation mm -hmm. uh, not only for me but really uh, you know the media that's here uh, and uh, just the folks in general. Tell me about your reception from other owners maybe at the Super Bowl and then when you see them now uh, what are they saying to you what's the vibe you get from them I guess? Well uh, I the vibe I get is uh, that uh, you know, I think we've cracked the code. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we've got a great uh, head coach, mm -hmm. uh, we've got a great general manager, and we have a great quarterback. And that's the trifecta for success in the NFL. And you're enjoying it. You've waited a while to have this feeling, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I think it's taken a while, but uh, I'm glad it's happening. I'm glad for me, I'm glad for all the fans. On the field, what was your biggest Maybe give me your best memory from last year, because this team created so many memories, so many moments. I guess what stands out to you? Well, uh, I mean, what stands out uh, for me, really, uh, you know, in my experience as ownership, is the coming from behind. Okay. I mean, the consistently coming from behind, which, you know, has been unique in my ownership mm -hmm. experience, that uh, we're so far down and the fans hanging with us. Uh, you know, right down to the bitter end till the game's over and we won the game. Now, honest answer here, how many times did you give up hope and then have them not prove you wrong? <laughs> well, uh, I'm always hopeful, Sure. okay? I'm an optimistic person and uh, uh, so, um, you know, now over the years, bad things have happened to us, you know, <laughs> uh, at, at those times sure. that have gone the wrong way. So. But really, when you look at it, early in the season, I think there were like six games early mm -hmm. in the season we had lost. We were leading in the, right. uh, you know, late in the fourth quarter, and then you end up losing them. So this is where the script flips, and um, you know, and it obviously makes it uh, super exciting. And uh, glad it's going that way. Maybe it's sort of the same question, but what was your biggest takeaway? maybe you learned about this team last season, just from observing it, just from being there every week. Uh, how will you remember it, I guess is the question. Uh, no quit. Okay. Uh, that, uh, y you know, the players believed in each other. Uh, they believed in the coaches and they believed they were destined to win. You really can't talk about the end of the season without talking about the crowd at home. I guess tell me about the last two games, especially out with yeah. the fans at home. Yeah. First thing about the last two games, uh, we hadn't had a primetime game right. in my ownership, okay? So we hadn't earned it, we didn't deserve it. And here we earn it, we deserve it, so we get two in a row. Uh, both of them, you know, are packed, including uh, the stand, uh, you know, standing room only mm -hmm. tickets. Uh, and really uh, to see the fans and both of the games, again, hanging in, uh, the last game, you know, down 27 nothing, and no one leaves. Right. I mean, that shows uh, really the enthusiasm, the belief the fans had. And I know it made a huge difference for Trevor. Right. You know, that uh, uh, he looked up and saw no one had left, that okay. Uh, you, you know, there was a huge vote of confidence in him. So. And those moments really define things, don't they? I mean, they stand out as memory points and. Uh, I guess they define what you expect going forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, and it's it's a great memory that uh, lives with you. It certainly is going to live with me forever. I was staying on top, not easy. What makes you feel like this is, uh, I guess, uh, sustainable is the word you're looking for? Uh, again, I think what gives me the confidence of sustainability is, uh, you know, head coach, general manager, mm -hmm. and the quarterback. I think. Uh, you know, uh, they're here for the long haul, and with them, I think, uh, uh, you know, we've lost a couple of players this year, salary cap, I, you know, I hated to see them leave, but uh, that's really a measure of success that you can't hang on to all your players, you know. 
And so then obviously the skill, uh, the trick is to mm -hmm. replace them, hopefully, you know, with better players. So, uh, you know, we've got the draft uh, primarily to develop players for the future and a system that is sustainable. You mentioned Doug Peterson. A year ago, we were in Palm Beach talking about him, mm -hmm. about a hope, but some unknowns. What did you learn about him in his first year and your first year with him? Well, uh, I think now, I mean, uh, Doug is a media darling, okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think um, uh, a lot of the stuff that's come out, uh, you know, I saw it up close and personal, okay, okay? that, uh, uh, you know, he's a guy very even keeled, uh, really doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low, uh, really the self-belief, the belief in the team, um, belief in the process, uh, I think, uh, and, um, you know, and results and really demanding winning from himself and the players and the team. And just as important in this and maybe just as intriguing, Trent Baalke last year, uh, you know, some criticism from fans at times before that season. Mm -hmm. Talk about how he overcame that and the job that he did and just your impressions of him all year. Well, uh, I mean, I've known Trent now for three years, mm -hmm. okay? So, I mean, uh, I believe in him, okay? Whether he was popular with the fans or not, I mean, that was for the fans to decide. Uh, my belief in him never wavered, and, uh, and uh, no matter what the noise was, you know, I, I, uh, one of the things like this event here, you meet a lot of, uh, you know, GMs, present or past, and uh, so, um, you know, I've, uh, he just, I mean, he proved what sure. I thought he was going to do. And a final topic, and I'm, I'm fascinated by this one, because it's the Miller Electric Center. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of it. I know you were involved very heavily in the design of it. And that's something that you really like, isn't it? the design of things and how that uh, thing's going to look. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, uh, you know, form follows function. Uh, uh, you know, I've loved architecture mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, the design, the aesthetics, most, most importantly the function, how, what it's going to do for the players, okay? Uh, what's it going to do for the community? I think all of those are really key points and, you know, uh, Miller Electric Center does that in a great way. Give me your favorite part of it, if, if well, something that stands out. Well, um, I think, uh, you know, it's a contemporary industrial look, okay? So it, it has a look where football players come in to get better, uh, you know, uh, on the field and off the field. Uh, so um, it, all the elements that go into it. Exciting time to be with the Jaguars, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait.